Hello and welcome to this episode of The Living Waters where scripture meets life. We have come to the last uh, video of the series on the attributes of God. Today we shall look into the wrath of God. Many people sadly even sadly even professing Christians to consider the wrath of God as something less than glorious. Some people wish that Bible never described such a thing. Some believe that it is like a blemish in God's character. Some argue of it as something beneath the dignity of God. But we don't see God making any attempt to hide this attribute of his. He is not ashamed uh, to declare that vengeance and fury belong to him. He himself says in Ezekiel 25:17 I will execute great vengeance on them with wrathful rebukes then they will know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon them So what is the wrath of God A W Pink says it is God's eternal detestation of all unrighteousness It is the displeasure and indignation of God's justice against evil it is the holiness of god stirred into activity against sin sam storms speaks of god's wrath as a function of god's love which is true god's love is his god's wrath is his love for holiness it is his love for truth it is his love for justice it is because god passionately love purity and peace and perfection that he reacts angrily towards anything and anyone who defiles them so the wrath of god reveals not the slightest defect in god's character but rather reveals the sum of all his excellencies the perfection of his character in other words if god looked upon virtue and vice with equal satisfaction and approval or if god was to equally accept what is right and what is wrong what is good and what is bad then he would never be morally good and perfect and also the wrath of god is is not his loss of self control or an outburst of anger it is not a celestial bad temper let us look into the scriptures to see some of the ways in which the wrath of god is revealed the wrath of god was revealed when the sentence of death death was first pronounced upon creation and the earth was cursed as we see in genesis chapter 3 and later we read in romans 8 that the creation was subjected to futility in bondage to corruption it says and is now groaning in pain the wrath of god was revealed in the days of moses uh, of noah uh, through the flood and later as the cities were destroyed by fire raining from heavens the fact that death reigns throughout the world is a result of god's wrath when god instituted the old testament sacrifices it not only revealed god's mercy and forgiveness but also his wrath the suffering and death of jesus christ on that cruel cross of calvary again reveals to us more than anything else the holy wrath of god the cross reveals to us that god doesn't play games with sin and finally there is going to be a future wrath yet to be revealed as we read in romans chapter 2 verse 5 because of your hard and impenitent heart god says you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when god's righteous judgment will be revealed let me read that again to you romans 2 verse 5 because of your hard and impenitent heart you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when god's righteous judgment will be revealed Now as children of God why do we need to meditate on this attribute of God the applications let us look into three of them number 1 as children of God we should meditate on God's 
hatred towards sin god's wrath we need to meditate on how he detests sin because in our flesh we are so prone to think of sin lightly we are quick to make excuses for our sins so we need to constantly remind ourselves the wrath of god and inculcate in us a holy fear of god number 2 we need to worship god in truth god says in in psalm 50 verse 21 it's a very interesting verse god says you thought that i was one like yourself god is saying hey man do you think that i am one like you no i am not so when we create a god of our own image and worship him worship that image we are worshiping nothing but an idol so we not not only meditate on god's love and his grace but also on his holiness and justice and wrath all the attributes of god are equally important bible says our god is love our god is also a consuming fire Number 3 meditation of the wrath of god on the wrath of god will will move our souls to praise our savior and trust him he who delivered us from the wrath to come it will also move us to continually flee to christ to be delivered from sin it will move us to us to persevere in faith holding steadfast on god's grace and mercy in Christ Jesus.